guilty on all counts. A stunning verdict in the Martha Stewart stock trial. Will she serve time? The fall of an American icon. From NBC News, this is NBC Nightly News with Tom Brokaw. Reporting tonight from Los Angeles. Good evening. Martha Stewart, one of America's best-known celebrities and most successful women, is now facing the prospect of moving into a federal prison. A federal court jury in New York today found her guilty on all four counts in the case that grew out of a stock trade worth $228,000, a transaction that could cost her an empire worth hundreds of millions of dollars. We begin tonight with NBC's Ann Thompson, who was in the courtroom when the verdicts were returned. And. Tom, it was a devastating verdict. Martha Stewart found guilty of conspiracy, obstruction, and two counts of making false statements. Her stockbroker, Peter Bakanovic, found guilty as well. A shocking defeat for one of America's most successful businesswomen. Guilty! Guilty! Guilty all counts. Guilty all counts. The news came in a frenzy. A rush of journalists with colored flashcards relaying the decision to the world outside. Inside, Martha Stewart was stoic as the judge read the verdict. The packed courtroom gasped at the first guilty for Stewart. As the jury overwhelmingly rejected Stewart and Bakanovic's claim, they didn't lie to investigators. She committed a felony, she committed a crime. Now, now she has to, to take whatever punishment to do to her. At the center of the case, Stewart's sale of almost 4,000 shares of Imclone stock that netted her $51,000 in profits, but ended up costing her millions in legal fees and lost business. Her sale happened one day before bad news sunk Imclone's price, and the same day Imclone founder Sam Waxel tried to sell his shares. There you go. The government maintained Stewart was tipped about Waxel's plans by Douglas Fanuel on the orders of his boss, Bakanovic. Stewart and Bakanovic claimed they had an agreement to sell the stock at $60, but the government argued they left a trail of evidence exposing their lies. The case was controversial, many critics accusing the government of overreaching, but prosecutors insisted it sends an important message. Corporate America is going to the word is beware. And, and don't engage in this type of conduct because it will not be tolerated. Martha Stewart, now a convicted felon, left the courthouse to some cheers. Her defense team vowed her fight is not over and they will appeal. We are confident that once we get our day in the Court of Appeals, the, the conviction will be reversed and Martha Stewart will ultimately be determined not to have done anything wrong. Stewart and Bakanovic must report to the probation office on Monday. They each face up to 20 years in prison, but the judge in this case does have some discretion and could give them as little as 12 months. Tom? All right, thanks very much, NBC's Ann Thompson tonight, for a trial that was all about stock sales. The Martha Stewart News sent some shares on a wild ride this afternoon when it was first announced that the jury had reached a verdict. Shares in Martha Stewart's company shot up 16%. But then when the verdict came in, those shares dropped 23%, down $3.17, to close at $10.86 a share. A similar story, but a bit less dramatic for Kmart, where the Martha Stewart line of home products is one of the most popular brands. It finished today down 39 cents a share at $32.51. Obviously, the, con uh, the conviction raises questions about whether Martha Stewart's company can survive. This is a stunning development for a woman who created an empire out of her master of the culinary arts, design, and marketing genius. Martha is so much more than a brand. It's a way of life for her devoted followers. And in this age of the consumer, she sold the good life and lived it as well. NBC's Kelly O'Donnell tonight on the fall of an icon. An empire fashioned by elegance, good taste, and the finer things. It's a good thing. Now blotted with a kind of stain, even Martha Stewart may not be able to get out. Stewart in a guest spot when the story broke nearly two years ago. I will be exonerated. And I want to focus on my salad because one more that's why we're here. One more question about Experts in crisis management say her salad days are over for now. It's much easier to survive a conviction than it is public ridicule in the marketplace. An icon of home life culture who somehow made laundry secrets and baked from scratch recipes seem contemporary and sophisticated. Her friend, author Dominic Dunn. 
She is a woman who found a niche in American life and and moved in on it and and made this enormous success of her of her life the ultimate celebrity brand television publishing merchandise and the inevitable parody its own measure of success on saturday night live i would never move my product line to sears because i have no softer side <laughs> And lately, an easy punchline for late night hosts. Okay, Martha, I don't think you're hearing me. What I'm trying to tell you. At her peak in 2000, she was worth an estimated $1 billion. But now, even friends today question whether her business can survive. I would doubt it. I would doubt it. But anyway, maybe from jail she can run it or something. I have great faith she's going to have a comeback, this lady. Observers say segments of her mega business may endure, while others may not. For example, corporations fearing risk may be less likely to buy ads in her magazine, while some fans, many of whom thought she was targeted unfairly, may still want to own some of Martha's style. There is an outside shot that consumers, especially women, will interpret this as a witch hunt and overkill against a successful woman, which suggests that it's possible that some consumers may continue to buy her products. Some suggest her prominence, not to mention her gender, played a role in how she was treated. It is often, though, that uh, women in positions of visibility uh, are held to another standard. I hope that wasn't at play here. Public relations pros say an act of contrition and the passage of time are the most important ingredients in an eventual image makeover for the maven of the good life. Kelly O'Donnell, NBC News, New York. Other news tonight, the unemployment report out this morning. Wall Street took all of today's dramatic news in stride. The Dow finished the day up more than seven points. NASDAQ was down for the day, also more than seven points. For the week then, the Dow was up almost 12 points. NASDAQ finished with a gain of just under 18 points. Good morning. Guilty on all four counts. Martha Stewart says she will appeal and is vowing to clear her name as she faces her first full day as a convicted felon.